Hi everyone, it's Heather. Welcome back into the Paper Castle. This is my eBay haul for Friday, May 3rd. Um, on this particular day, no real garage sales going on. Uh, I think I did, I did go to one and I bought one item. But other than that, there was one tiny little rummage sale. I've been to it before. It's not my favorite. Um, like I said, tiny. Never a lot of great stuff. Um, actually never a lot of just stuff in general and they're a little pricey but you know since there wasn't anything else going on that's where I went um, but I did have a great weekend uh, I, well I had a great day the next day at another rummage sale and then this past weekend was Mother's Day weekend and I put a video up already for you guys to see about the preview for that haul, which um, the Catholic school rummage sale down the street for me was is insane. I bought like 120 things there, and then the next day on Saturday, I went to two more smaller rummage sales and bought a bunch of stuff there. So this is just this was just this weekend, you guys. This is the Catholic school sale. This page. This page, this page, this page. That's all that sale. And then this was Saturday. So probably about 150 items I picked up this weekend. And then, of course, you know, my husband left the house for like an hour yesterday and came back and looked at me and goes, You done? I go, Done with what? He goes, You know, listen to all that crap in the dining room. I go, Yes. I just listed 200 items while you were gone. Uh, uh, yeah, so I have a lot of work to do, but, um, I did get a lot done yesterday because it was Mother's Day and it poured and poured and poured and poured all day, which was okay. As long as Friday and Saturday are good, I'm usually okay with Sunday being rainy. Um, so I got a lot accomplished and it was funny because everyone kind of left me alone because it was Mother's Day, but then I did, <laughs> um, uh, I teach my daughter about something very important. <laughs> she came downstairs and there were all these movies on this one channel and one of them happened to be 16 Candles. And as a kid, grown up as a teenager in the 80s, I loved that movie. And my husband always makes fun of me, even though he's never seen the whole thing. And just by association, my daughter would make fun of me. I go, you've never even seen it. And uh, she's like, okay, mom, fine, the movie's coming on. What is so great about it? And I just looked at her and I go, two words, child, two words, Jake Ryan. And she goes, huh? I go, the guy that Molly Ringwald likes in the movie. I go, that is all you need to know. So we sat down and we were watching it and I'm, you know, listing stuff. And the first scene he came up in, I pointed at him. I go, that is Jake Ryan. My daughter looks at him and she goes, oh my god. <laughs> I said, now? Do you see why I like this movie? She's like, yes mom, I understand now. I truly understand. <laughs> so, it was nice to see her have an epiphany this weekend. <laughs> and to agree with me on something. So that is now one of my daughter's new favorite movies. Um, so, let me show you guys what I got. Um, so I went upstairs first where the housewares are, where the housewares are, um, no I didn't. I went downstairs to look at craft stuff. There was absolutely nothing. Um, there were toys and clothes down there, so I bought nothing downstairs. So then I ran upstairs as quick as I could, and this is what I got. I think I spent about 28 bucks. Um, one of the first things I picked up, and I paid too much for this, um, uh, I should know better, but... I'll still make a profit on it. I got this Royal Dalton figurine. This is called um, The Favorite with this old lady and the cat. Um, 15 bucks, but I'll probably only make, I would say, 30 to 45 on it. So, you know, I keep forgetting sometimes that 10 years ago the prices for certain things were, you know, really good, but now the market's kind of tanked on a lot of those items, and that, you know, pretty much being one of them. So, um, if you can find them really cheap, then great. 
but if not, I don't think most of them are worth buying these days. Um, got one coffee mug. <laughs> the funny thing is, I just saw the shape of it in the box because it was in a box on the floor with a whole bunch of other ones. And I just saw the shape and the, the height kind of, and I'm like, oh, that's a Starbucks mug. That's like a U, that's a You Are Here mug. And I picked it up and it was. It's a You Are Here California mug. Um, that cost me, whoops, wrong page. That cost me 25 cents. So that was a decent deal. Um, put it up for $19.99 with free shipping like I do with most of my mugs. Then I got two enamel boxes. These were a dollar a piece. I just thought they were really pretty. I figured people could, you know, people could monogram them if they really wanted to. So, who knows? I'll probably sell those together, I think, in a lot. Don't really know what I'm going to make on them. Maybe I'll ask for 20 with free shipping and see where it goes. Um, got two peanuts ornaments. These two, I guess, were a dollar a piece. Um, probably going to try and get 10 out of each of them. Maybe 10 with free shipping. I got to check. So not a huge profit on those. Then I saw this sitting up on the shelf and thought before I even picked it up that it looked like a Hoselton piece. And it is. Um, might be hard to see here, but it says Hoselton Canada. And then this is the model number. What is it? 274. But Hoselton is a Canadian company. They do, do a lot of stylized um, cast aluminum pieces. I've sold some of theirs before. They always do pretty well. This guy's a little on the small side, but I think I still put them up there for 15 plus shipping, maybe? Something like that. And I have somebody watching them already, so. See where he goes. Um, got one other ornament. This is a Waterford little clip-on bird. You clip him to the branch of your tree. Really pretty. He was two bucks. Let's see if I focus on him. Um, probably ten to fifteen plus shipping on him. Then the two heavier pieces I got. I saw this sitting up on the shelf, and I recognized the handle, and I said, "Up, oh, that has to be a um, Bennington pottery batter bowl." And then um, turned it over, and it's very, very, very hard to see the mark. But I did see this. Looks like a little flower in the middle. I'm like, okay, I know that's Bennington. So I picked this up for, if this was two or this was, th this was $2. Um, I think they're still selling these currently on the Bennington site. I'm trying to think how much they are. I think they're 30? I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm going to try and sell this for 30 with 30 plus shipping, I think. But don't quote me on that. I have researched so much stuff because of, you know, this uh, Catholic high school sale with researching 120 items that all the other prices for things kind of flew out of my head. Um, then the last thing I got there... I told you it was a small haul. Last thing I got there was this teapot. I just thought it was real pretty with the little chickadee on it. And turned it over. And I couldn't read the mark, but I know the mark. It's Heartstone. It's H-A-R-T-S-T-O-N-E. And figured, you know, chickadees are pretty popular. So I picked that up for four, which is a little bit more than I wanted to pay. But I think I can get 25 to 30 plus shipping from that. So that was it, guys. That was it from the whole rummage sale. Um, like I said, I did hit a garage sale afterwards. So from that one, I got one measly thing. And that is this scarf. And it had this insignia on it. I didn't know what the heck it meant, so I looked it up. And this is from the Football Club of Barcelona. 
um, football meaning soccer, obviously, and it's a, a Nike scarf. So I can probably get, I think 20 plus shipping on that. And then right down the street from where that sale was, our hospital, and I'm not sure, I think somebody left the house to the hospital. Um, there's, a little ho there's a little house on the corner right next to where our hospital is. And um, a few years back, I think someone passed away and left the house to the hospital. So the hospital took it over and they actually put a little thrift store in there and then all the proceeds go to the hospital. Uh, some of the things in there, a little pricey, but every once in a while you can find um, a good deal. And it, it's really nice in there. They do, they do a great job. Um, it's not cluttered and claustrophobic like a lot of other thrift stores. And I went in there and I was looking and looking and looking and looking and I couldn't really find anything. And finally I went into another room and I did find one embroidery kit. I found this one. Now, this is one of those where it has a picture of a bunch of things on the front, but there's only actually one item in the package. You have to look and see which box is checked. So for this one, in this package is this um, stuffed dragon that you can make. Everything's in it, of course, but the stuffing. And it's just got these really pretty embroidered flowers all over it. This is called Whimsical Wonders from Brazilian Stitchery Enterprises. Never heard of them before. But there are a decent amount of Brazilian embroidery kits on eBay, which I did not know until I looked this up. So everything's in it. Uh, I paid two bucks for it, and I have it up. I have it up at auction because there's no other ones up there. Had it up for auction for, um, I think, 20 with free shipping. So, um, no bites yet, but we'll see what happens. So that's it, guys. Isn't that sad? <laughs> but trust me, there'll be a much bigger haul in the next video. Oh, and I wanted to tell you I, <laughs> a, uh, a kind of be on the lookout thing. Uh, it's actually, actually not a serious be on the lookout, but I was watching Antiques Roadshow a couple weeks ago and some person brought in a sculpture, I think it was a sculpture of a naked lady, I think, yeah. And the appraiser was looking at it and he looked at her and he goes, you know what the top three things, uh, the top three sellers in the antiques world are? And she's like, no. He goes, naked ladies, elephants, and cats. So he, he looked at her and he said, so if you, if you can find a naked lady sitting on an elephant holding a cat, he's like, then you're gold. <laughs> so I told my husband that. And I said, that is my new goal. I said, this whole summer, I'm going to be on the lookout for a naked lady riding an elephant holding a cat. He's like, okay, good luck with that. <laughs> so I highly doubt I will find one. However, you never know. There's a lot of weird stuff out there. So just want to let all you guys know so that you can be on the lookout. So if any of us find a naked lady riding an elephant and holding a cat, please let me know so I can throw it in my husband's face. And you'll probably, you know, make a crap ton of money off of it. So anyway, that's it, guys. Um, thanks for watching. I'll be back with another haul video soon, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.